What's doing everyone? Welcome to round two, episode two, vlog two of Project Battles. Uh, this episode we have Liam, aka the chosen one off-road, aka I Eat Penis. Um, no? Okay. Single arm bandit. <laughs> Single arm bandit. Uh, did a work injury at home when he doesn't have a job. Yeah, so, I fell off a ladder. Yeah. Uh, he's come down to Mexico, we've got our draggy. Uh, we're going to do some quarter mile times down here at the moment and then we're actually going to do on this one, we've just talking about maybe doing a stop as well, stopping yep. distance. Uh, both cars, well, I haven't introduced the cars yet, but both cars have quite big tyres. Both have some mods. Uh, so we'll do a bit of a walk around and we'll do a bit of an explanation of what the cars are and then we'll go and do a draggy race and see That's who wins. Good. I'll see who wins. Let's get in. One hundred. Quarter mile. Sixty. One hundred. So we're back. We're back from Mexico. We're back in Caloundra, mm, and we're going to long flight. Uh, we're going to do. We had lots of tequilas. Yeah, lots of tequilas. Uh, we're going to have a bit of a play in the play hills. Now again, uh, whether it's internet points or whatever, uh, Liam only has factory side steps. He's got the height. He's got a rear locker. No front locker. Don't feel like breaking anything. No, we'll see how we go. Yeah, this isn't my car. Um, I can fix it. I've built this car, so I've got no problems in driving it. But I don't really want to try and fix it. Um, so we won't be going anything hardcore. We probably will just do the same track as we did last time with Josh. Uh, but as I said, if you guys want to come out and you have sliders and front lockers, come and go against us. I'll let you go up the hill and I'll film you, do all you want to do. That's all good. Um, breaking you, stuff does get breaking, fused. Breaking stuff gets fused. Uh, you or me first? This is paper rock. Done. Oh, yeah, let's go. Oh, me first. Off you get. Righto. All right, so Nick's car has canopy, uh, 34s, three inch lift with airbags in the back. Uh, they're a rad flow suspension, the same as mine. This is the car that I actually drove for the first time and can't believe how good this thing floats around with the weight that's in it. So that's why I went rad flow. Uh, three inch DPF back exhaust. Let's come up the front and have a quick look up here. Uh, we've got an ARB base rack, which we fitted up. It's got fat bars, snorkel with a PSI Co uh, airbox. We've also done the drop down T-Max side steps. So when you open and close the door, they open and close. But if you do need to get up to the rack, you can climb up you can close the door and the step will stay closed. So you can get up to that easily, or if your girlfriend or partner or boyfriend are uh, shorter, they can still get up there nice and easy and they still close. We'll go inside the engine bay. There's nothing really cool inside. Oh, this one's got a head unit inside, full touch screen, YouTube, internet, all that gear. Uh, in under here, we've done the same as mine with the single bonnet strut. Psycho airbox, he actually stole my airbox um, before I fit it to my car, so he stole that. Catch can, fuel filter, same battery as mine. Uh, pretty much whatever he has on his car, I have my car and vice versa. He has, I think this was the first PSR ambush bar, I'm pretty sure, um, that ever got put on a Hilux. Uh, the previous owner got this fitted on and it was all on there. Then we've done, adjusted it up for the body lift. Uh, no winch. And that's really about it for in this thing. Um, let's go and play up the hill. All right, we should all be in. Oh, let me see that on so it doesn't keep beeping at us. This is probably the most it's been off-road since Nick's owned it. Ooh. Tow bar. So one thing I have noticed is no throttle control in this car. Makes life a little bit more interesting. It's 
Yeah, so same suspension. Bigger tyres, bigger li biggest lift. That throttle controller works magic. The chosen one off-road off is actually going off-road. <laughs> There's a first for everything. Just put your seatbelt on and lock it in full below. So just come straight. Come straight, slow, just slow. You're all right. Heaps of room, you're all right. Hold there for a sec. That's it, yep. Keep that line. Left a little. Left a little. That's it. Straight up. Right hand down. That's it. So it looks steeper than what it actually is. Yeah, it looks way steeper. Yeah, it's not that bad. I mean, it's terrible. It's <laughs> way worse than Big Red. Mac nah. Preston, you suck ass. You want to try another hill or are you happy with that? That'll do. <laughs> That'll do. <laughs> Just, uh, you've just done the hill for us. Yep. Uh, kids are okay. Obviously, probably a little bit less weight than Nick's got. Yep. Uh, what have you got in the way of lift? Way of lift, we got a four-inch suspension lift, um, supplied by Superior Engineering. Just a nitro gas kit with um, upper control arms, chrome al alloy. Um, Two-inch body lift as well, which doesn't really help with the um, when you're going up a hill, but a bit more body sway, you know. But um, 35-inch tires, 17-inch wheel, 12 and a half inches wide. Um, I think the offset's positive 20, something like that, positive eight. Um, obviously, Rhino bar extra clearance at the front, so we're not knocking on anything. We've got the bash plates coming all the way back. Nothing really interesting done to the back of the car, no bars, nothing like that. We've got a winch under here, tucked under the number plate. Nice UHF, GME, sponsor me. <laughs> light fourth bar, um, light bar, 20 inch, dual row. Um, what else do we have? We've got snorkel airbox. Thanks mate, I'll, uh, I'll see you on the next episode. So we're just uh, winching him out. At least it's a good part for the video, we can test his winch works. Soft in there, mate. It's soft. So the Hilux is now known as the Ranger Recovery Vehicle. <laughs> no, nah, no, nah. not my car. Oh, we can bring yours back. No, nah, we're good. You better get that good and clean, mate. No dirty car, in my dyno. Oh, here he is, finally. Took you a while. Took you a while. Hopefully a bit faster on the dyno. Yeah, 
Uh, right, so we've just got back in from uh, out in the bush doing our bush things. Uh, and now we are on the dyno, we've just backed it up. And you can tell me about what you've got done inside here, under there and around. Awesome. So in order, we've done um, injectors first, 30% injectors. Yep. Um, we've matched that originally with a PWI intercooler. Yep. We've put a trans cooler, as we can see underneath, we'll pop a video and that in. Um, PSI Co airbox installed by some ugly guy from Cloundra. Um, that was Tim, not me, so it's okay. Fair, fair. <laughs> we've also done a um, hot cold um, intake pipe. Yep. And for power, that's about it. We've got an exhaust as well, airbox, not cool. Cool. Works. Awesome. All right, well, let's uh, run it up and see what she can do. So we've just run up on the dyno, bit of a sooty boy. Sooty. Uh, and we've got 187, 188 kilowatts and 600, I'll show you one of the screen up in a second, 600 odd newton meters of torque. Uh, which we won't say where it was queued elsewhere before. No. That's before else, you came in and come out of the closet. Um, yes, there we go. So now it's definitely still making the power it was making before, which is great news for you. Yes. Um, you know there is a good position. Um, now, but what we might do, I'll flick up on the screen up here and have a look in a second, but what we might do is increase the stock tyres with you. I did. So we might throw some stock tyres on, see where that goes. Uh, we've had a few people questioning ranges especially for whatever reason, because we're all a weird breed. Yeah, um, My mate makes this and factory makes that. Well, yeah. let's have a This is not a factory car as such, no. but let's put some stock tyres on it yeah. and see what stock tyres do with the 250 horsepower Ranger. to Ranger on stock tyres. Let's do it. Done. So as you can see up here on the graph, uh, we get 188 kilowatts and 610 newton meters of torque. Uh, it's a pretty good torque range all the way through the range here. But I guess the, uh, the plus 30s and the G, what did we say G300. it was? G300 turbo. G turbo. So we've got G turbo and plus 30s, that's what does that for you. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, we'll uh, suck these tires over and see how we go. <laughs> Are you ready for this? That's how a ranger should look. Look at that. Kelly Lean, baby. Kelly Is that the new Lean. thing? Is that the new thing? Uh, look at it. All right. So we've put the small tires on the back uh, and we're going to run it back up on the dyno. We'll strap it down. We'll run it up and do the same thing. We'll do two runs and we'll see what it comes up with. All right, so we're strapped on. Yeah. What's the kilowatt gain? 22. 22 kilowatt gain. What's the kilowatt gain from a 30, well, a 35 down to a 30? What's the gains? I don't know. Pick a number. 10%. 10 percent. 10 percent. Give me a thing? fucking, give me a figure. Oh, 20 know. kilowatts, 18 kilowatts, 14 kilowatts, 25 kilowatts. 25 kilowatts. 25 kilowatts. Josh, give me a number. What? From 35s down to a 30, well, how much more power is it going to make? Yes, just an extra, you don't know what the figure is 15, now. 15 to 20 more. Pick a number, you can't pick one or both. Well, but what did it make before? Not telling you, just more, how many more kilowatts? 18. 18, done. You remember all those numbers? Because I don't. No. <laughs> I don't like giving a number. Give me your phone number. <laughs> no one wants that. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Uh, right, so, yep. what did you guess? 22. 22, 22 kilowatts. So you were wrong. Right. Jarvis was wrong. Jarvis. He was wrong. Very wrong. I didn't think I got mine on camera saying I said about 30 kilowatts, but yeah, said I said about 30. Started with 20, went yeah. to 30. But here we are. 
So, red line is 35s, the green line is stock tires. So we picked up 50 Newton meters of torque and we picked up calculator man over there, let's call it, what, 28, 29 kilowatts? Something like that. Um, so there you go. Do tires make a difference? Yes. Size matters. Size matters. Fuck. So you have it. So, the old theory, oh no, it doesn't matter what size tires are. Manufacturer says it's this much power. No. Manufacturer ratings are at the flywheel, not the tires. So then you add 35s, 33s, 32s, whatever size, it will change the power your car is making and the torque because it needs to actually turn that mass. So, bigger tires means less power, so you need to boost it up. Come and see me for a tune. All right, so next up we have Nick's Hilux. Uh, he's let me borrow it for the day, as you've seen earlier in the video. Uh, so I'll run this up on the dyno. I have already pre-tuned this car before. I can't remember what number it makes, uh, but it, uh, it makes good numbers for what it is. It has a three inch DPF back exhaust with a muffler, uh, standard everything else except for intake in the way of an air box and snorkel, which I'll show you in a second. Uh, it's still on 34s, and I haven't touched the auto in this one yet either. Uh, we'll have a play with that. We have some other things coming for this car, so once I do that, I'll have a play with the auto. But uh, let's get up on the dyno. So just run the Hilux up. What do you think of the Hilux? It's alright. It's, right. it's still stock. It really, it's an exhaust. Hasn't got your plus 30s. Hasn't got a big G-series turbo. Um, it's, just, it's a 2.8. It's a 2.8, but I reckon if we go back to factory numbers, the Hilux is massive. I reckon we bring I'm my Hilux in. I reckon we bring, we bring my Hilux in and we'll have a run. We'll to, that might be another episode. Another episode. Uh, but anyway, so let's have a look. So the Hiluxes, they will kick, they don't hold fourth gear like Navara's or Rangers do. They actually kick back. So in my car, I've actually got like a dyno tune file that I can load in, I can hold fourth. I could do that to this one, it's just time, we don't have it today. So what we're gonna do is basically, I've done two runs. I've done one from in fourth gear from a rolling start and roll to accelerate on so it doesn't kick back. And I've done one about 80, so I can be loaded up at 80 uh, in fourth and carry it through. So you can see at the same start point, 60 to 140. And then there's also the 80 on footage. The outcome's the same, uh, a couple of kilowatt, well, 0.1 of a kilowatt and a couple of new meters of torque. But at least you'll see in the graph off the uh, camera around now and we'll have a look. Look at this graph! All right, so as you can see, uh, the blue line is from 80 kilometers an hour and the purple line is from 60 kilometers an hour. So like I said, I did roll that on to get through to there. This one's loaded up for a couple of seconds and, and going through. So. Hilux on 34s, we've got 119 kilowatts and 400 newton meters of torque. And the Ranger on 35s has got 190 kilowatts and 600 newton meters of torque. So you win this round. That's not so bad. Shocker. All right, we'll, uh, we'll get this off and we'll pack up and we'll uh, have a chat. All right, that's us. We're sitting in the office. It's too hot to be outside. Yeah. Uh, you got stuck in the mud. A little bit. We went up the hill. Yep. We did some dynoing. Yep. We did some racing. Used about 40 bucks worth of diesel. That's cheap at the moment. Yeah. <laughs> uh, no, it was good. We, um, so Ranger's got more power, Ranger's got more torque, which is accept, uh, expected because you obviously upgrades you got. Uh, Nick, you gotta pull your finger out and we're gonna do those upgrades we're talking about. Still lose, but that's okay. So, we'll see, we'll see. Um, hill climbs much on par with each other. Uh, racing, obviously more power, you got more torque. Um, you got two seconds faster. And the, that's really about it, so it's all for us. So, um, all what'd you think, all right? It's fun. Yeah. Um, if you know anyone else, or if you know anyone else wants to come and have a battle, he got no friends. He's got no friends. He's the chosen one off road. <laughs> <laughs> this is the bottom of the barrel. This is the bottom of the barrel. You're here with no friends. You're here with us. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Hit that like, hit subscribe. Uh, mm -hmm. Make sure you uh, let us know if there's anything else you want to see, or if you know someone that wants to have a battle, send them our way. Comment which car you thought would win. Yeah. The winning and being the better cars do different things. Yeah, but I won. <laughs> see you guys.